I'm Carl Anthony with Auto Sense TV here in the heart of the Motor City at Auto Sense Detroit. We are in the Michigan Science Center, and you might notice we're in a car here. I'm speaking today with Robert Vermeer, the senior product manager for Sony's Depth Sensing Solutions. And Robert, what do we have going on here? Well, what we've created here is a, uh, a demonstrator vehicle to uh, show our unique image sensor technology. We're using time of flight cameras, which uh, create a 3D uh, point cloud of the interior of the vehicle. Uh, on top of that, we're running algorithms to extract certain features from either the driver or the front occupant uh, in order to create some user experience. What we can show the attendees here is that we can show them Sony's unique technology of the 3D uh, time of flight and also the um, special 3D computer vision middleware that we've uh, been developing. When you talk about the 3D time of flight, uh, explain that to our AutoSense TV viewers. What is that and what are some of the benefits to it? Okay, I think people are familiar with 3D, so uh, it's having a, uh, a perspective of depth. Um, time of flight is a special active illumination sensor, so you put out a, a continuous wave uh, pulsed IR signal and you measure in, on the sensor the, um, the phase difference of the return signal. And then that effectively gives you the, not only the intensity 2D image, but a depth pixel off of one frame. And so the application for the everyday car driver, how does this benefit the everyday car buying public? Okay, so um, the application already in the automotive industry is uh, gesture control. So we are um, uh, a known provider of a very famous European maker for gesture control. And that's just really the start. I think um, for in-cabin monitoring, it opens up a lot of um, new applications. Uh, of course, we can enhance the driver monitoring capability with knowing exactly where our hands are, hands on the uh, wheel, hands off the wheel. We can do driver distraction with the head position. Uh, but we can also track objects uh, within the thing. It doesn't necessarily have to be the occupant or driver. It could be object tracking. There's many applications for this technology. So we have the in-vehicle interior cameras, and uh, we have uh, actually three cameras in this demonstrator. One is on, on me as a driver's side, one is on your side, occupant, and one is the, the central uh, camera which is doing a gesture. But I'll concentrate on the in-cabin monitoring uh, libraries. We have three algorithms. One is uh, detecting what is on the seat. That's uh, occupant detection and occupant classification. And ultimately, we will identify the occupant as well. The second algorithm is hand tracking. You can see my left hand and my right hand are being fully tracked throughout the cabin. And this can be used, of course, for driver monitoring on the steering wheel, but also for activation area of the console panel. So you can see my left hand is up at the visor, or my left hand is on the head, or my right hand is on the head. The third algorithm is the head tracking. Again, this is due to uh, use cases for driver monitoring, but it could also be put for sound position, or it could be for adjustment of, of body parts. So you can see the, the, the head position, uh, the roll, pitch, and jaw of my head on the third algorithm. This is really fascinating when, when you take us through this demo. And this is something that AutoSense attendees can, can, can experience? They can come here and they can actually sit in and they can demo to themselves and we can run through exactly how it's working. We want to invite all of our AutoSense attendees to take a demonstration with Robert Vermeer, Sony Depth Sensing Solutions, right here in the heart of the Motor City at AutoSense. For more AutoSense TV, join us on YouTube.